I am here to destroy your planet and enslave your peoples. Your minerals will become our minerals. Your crops will become our crops. Your land will perish. I think they'll say that. No way. Why would an alien say that? Because they want our minerals and crops. Oh, don't be so stupid, child. What would an alien race do with minerals and crops? No, I think they're going to be friendly. If they wanted to attack us, they'd tell us in advance. What if they wanted a surprise attack? Maybe aliens don't have a concept of surprise. Anyway, we'll find out, won't we? Well, not if they kill us, we won't. Ah, but you see, we will see them in the sky, and they will shoot at us, so we will know they've come for a surprise attack. We won't be able to warn anyone. Ah, but that's not what I said, is it? I said that we'd know that they'd come for a surprise attack. Ah, true. Hmm. Why, are you worried they're going to uh, kill us or something? No, not as such. Just interested. I'd happily die by the hands of an alien laser. Why? Are you scared? No, but you got me thinking. If they kill us, then nobody will know we're dead. And I think I left my TV on. Nobody will mind about that. My brother will, when I leave it on for weeks and gets all my unpaid bills. I think that's how it works, don't the dead person's sibling has to pay the bills. Now that I think about it, I think I left my oven on as well. What's wrong about that? The flat will blow up! But you'd be dead. It doesn't matter. Yes, that's true, but it won't fix the TV problem. Maybe the electricity company don't know you have a brother. Of course they do! Don't be silly, child! Well, why don't you tell your brother to um, forge some signatures and not be your brother anymore? I can't. Why? I'll be dead. Oh, yeah. Well, chances are, if they kill us, then they'll probably kill the whole town anyway and, you know, destroy it and destroy your TV. How would they know which one's mine? Um, I don't know. I just mean, like, they'll destroy all TVs. Don't think you'll have to pay then. That's true. But they won't kill us anyway. I still think we should have, you know, told the news or someone. No, don't be silly. This is our thing. We should be the first people to see the UFO. If we told the news, there'd be crowds and crowds of people filling out the fields to see the UFO. We would be pushed to the back. See? I'd be here. And I can still see pretty well, but I don't have people in my way. True. What? See, I can't hear you. And that would hinder us if we wanted to talk about the UFO. <sighs> yes, I think it's good. We're the only ones out here. Great. What? What if... What if they don't come? Don't speak the language of silliness. We have done the dates, we have done the constellations, the times. Eighteen times over, have we not? And has always come up with the exact same spot on this exact same date, has it not? Yeah, they did, yeah. The signs are there, boy. You've just got to have faith. I don't know. I know we worked it out, but it's difficult to have complete faith in something. Faith is complete yeah, trust and confidence in something. In the context, you used it anyway. But then faith could also be, you know, with a strong belief in something. 
like religion over like. Yes, but what religion is, is something based in spirituality. What we did was based in fact and proof. Yeah. Therefore, what you do is you place your faith in something with proof, rather than spirituality. I guess it's a mix of the two meanings. But is it proof? I, I mean, I know it works out, but someone must have worked out religion like 18 times or so. Don't doubt yourself to me. Don't doubt me. Remember the motto. Put it on the shelf. Don't doubt yourself. You know we don't doubt each other. I'm not doubting anything. I'm just saying, you know, potentially, what if they don't come? They'll come. Well, what if a priest didn't turn up to Mass? Then the believers there would have no one to tell them what to believe. Yes, but they know what to believe, and you probably get to replace it anyway. What if he was the only priest in the world and he died? Then the believers have no one to tell them what to believe. They'd have to make up their own minds. Yes. What's your point? Well, the believers believe in their religion. And we believe in UFOs. So what if our aliens, our ministers, didn't show up? Does that mean they don't exist? Because if a priest didn't show up, it doesn't mean that he didn't exist. It just means he was busy or dead. So what you're saying is, is that if these aliens don't show up, they're either busy or dead? Not necessarily. What I mean is, we won't know if they're busy or dead or don't exist. We have to make up our own minds, our own beliefs. Yes, we will. Does that make us a cult? <laughs> don't be silly! You have to have at least three people to have a cult, probably. <laughs> What would be so wrong with creating your own beliefs anyway? No, not if they're not crazy. Some people might call our beliefs crazy, like we call re religious folks crazy. And what's your point? I don't know, it's... I guess all beliefs are crazy. They certainly are. Is that the UFO? Don't be silly.